Book 1, Proposition 15 of Euclid's Elements, focuses on the equality of vertical angles. So if two straight lines cut one another, they make the vertical angles equal to one another. So if we have two lines, AB and DC, and they cut each other at this point E, then this angle here and this angle here are equal to each other since these are vertical angles. And also this angle here and this angle here are equal to each other since they are vertical angles as well. So to start this proof, we want to label each of these angles with numbers so that it's a little bit more efficient. So let's call this angle one, this can be angle two, and this can be angle three. And we can use book one, proposition number 13, which says that if we have a straight line, in this case AB, and a line coming off of it, in this case ED, then the two angles, this angle one and this angle two, must add up to two right angles. So we have that angle one and angle two must equal two right angles. And we can again use the same argument, but this time using different straight lines. So we can use the straight line DC and the line coming off of it EB. And using this book one, proposition 13, we know that this angle here and this angle here must add up to two right angles. So we have that angle two plus angle three must be equal to two right angles. And notice that this pair of angles and this pair of angles both add up to two right angles. And due to common notion number one, if things are equal to the same thing, then they're also equal to each other. So we know that angle one and angle two must equal angle two and angle three added together. And now using common notion number three, we can subtract off this angle two since each side of the equation has it in common. And once we subtract angle two off, we have that angle one is equal to angle three, where this angle here is equal to its vertical angle over here. And that is exactly what we sought to prove. And you can use this same argument to show that this angle here, which we can call four, would be equal to angle two. So that finishes our proof, and we can end with QED.